JWH018 indole, or AM678 is an analgesic chemical from the naphthoyl indole family that acts as a full agonist at both the CB1 and CB2 cannabinoid receptors, with some selectivity for CB2. It produces effects in animals similar to those of THC, a cannabinoid naturally present in cannabis, leading to its use in synthetic cannabis products such as legal cannabis herbal incense blends, which in some countries are sold legally as incense, labeled not for human consumption. History, John W. Huffman, an organic chemist at Clemson University, synthesized analogues and metabolites of I9-tetrahydrocannabinol, the principal active component of cannabis. JWH018 is one of these analogues with studies showing an affinity for the cannabinoid receptor five times greater than that of THC. Cannabinoid receptors are found in mammalian brain and spleen tissue. However, the structural details of the active sites are currently unknown. On December 15, 2008, it was reported by the German pharmaceutical company THC Farm that JWH018 was found as one of the active components in at least three versions of the herbal blend spice which has been sold as an incense in a number of countries around the world since 2002. An analysis of samples acquired four weeks after the German prohibition of JWH018 took place found that the compound had been replaced with JWH073. Pharmacology, JWH018 is a full agonist of both the CB1 and CB2 cannabinoid receptors, with a reported binding affinity of 9.00 plus or minus 5.00 nanometers at CB1 and 2.94 plus or minus 2.65 nanometers at CB2. JWH018 has an EC50 of 102 nanometers for human CB1 receptors, and 133 nanometers for human CB2 receptors. JWH018 produces bradycardia and hypothermia in rats at doses of 0.3 euro 3 mg per kilogram, suggesting potent cannabinoid-like activity. Equals pharmacokinetics equals, JWH018 administered to rats resulted in the excretion of an indole ND sorcal metabolite as well as several hydroxylated metabolites in urine. The highest signals were observed for the hydroxylated ND sorcal metabolites. Hydroxylation took place on the side chain and in both aromatic systems, the naphthalene and the indole rings, as could be shown by mass shift of the corresponding fragments and by MS3 experiments. Human metabolites were similar although most metabolism took place on the indole ring and pentyl side chain, and the hydroxylated metabolites were extensively conjugated with glucuronide. Usage at least one case of JWH018 dependence has been reported by the media. The user consumed JWH018 daily for eight months. Withdrawal symptoms were similar to those experienced as a result of cannabis dependence. JWH018 has been shown to cause profound changes in CB1 receptor density following administration, causing desensitization to its effects more rapidly than related cannabinoids. On October 15, 2011, Anderson County Coroner Greg Shaw attributed the death of a South Carolina college basketball player to drug toxicity and organ failure caused by JWH018. An email dated November 4, 2011 concerning the case was finally released by the city of Anderson SC. On December 16, 2011 under the Freedom of Information Act after multiple requests by media to see the information had been denied. Compared to THC, which is a partial agonist at CB1 receptors, JWH018 are full agonists. THC has been shown to inhibit GABA receptor neurotransmission in the brain via several pathways. JWH018 may cause intense anxiety, agitation, and, in rare cases, has been assumed to have been the cause of seizures and convulsions by inhibiting GABA neurotransmission more effectively than THC. Cannabinoid receptor full agonists may present serious dangers to the user when used to excess. Various physical and psychological adverse effects have been reported from JWH018 use. One study reported psychotic relapses and anxiety symptoms in well-treated patients with mental illness following JWH018 inhalation. 
due to concerns about the potential of JWH018 and other synthetic cannabinoids to cause psychosis in vulnerable individuals. It has been recommended that people with risk factors for psychotic illnesses not use these substances. Detection in biological fluids JWH018 usage is readily detected in urine using spice screening immunosays from several manufacturers focused on both the parent drug and its omega hydroxy and carboxyl metabolites. JWH018 will not be detected by older methods employed for detecting THC and other cannabis terpenoids. Determination of the parent drug in serum or its metabolites in urine has been accomplished by GC MIS or LC MIS. Serum JWH018 concentrations are generally in the 1 euro 10 i 1 quarter gram per litre range during the first few hours after recreational usage. The major urinary metabolite is a compound that is manuidroxylated on the omega-1 carbon atom of the orchal side chain. A lesser metabolite manuidroxylated on the omega position was present in the urine of six users of the drug at concentrations of 6 euro 50 i 1 quarter gram per litre primarily as a glucuronide conjugate. Legal status. Synthesis. See also. References. External links. JWH018 Report Psychonaut Web Mapping Research Project, User of Legal Hi.